that in this module I'll try to explain how our Udu of Udu and MailChimp Connector works. So once you have installed our MailChimp, MailChimp Connector, this uh, MailChimp settings will appear uh, in the settings module. So let's start with, uh, with the configuration part first. First of all, we need to click on check on um, click on multiple uh, Mailchimp configuration and copy the API key that got gen generated in Mailchimp. Um, it's very easy. You need to just uh, go to API and copy the uh, in Mailchimp and copy the API key. Also enter the username through which you logged in in, uh, in Mailchimp, from which this API key was actually gen generated. Then click on save. Uh, now you can expect it to test the connections so that you are sure that your connection was successfully established. Then you need to go to MailChimp and what we'll do is we'll try to sync the data. We have multiple options over here. First what we'll do is we'll try to import all of the contacts uh, from MailChimp. For that we can click on execute all records and click on start button. What it will do is it will fetch all of the data. Uh, in case you're importing or if you clicked on also clicked on export it would have also sent the data from Odoo all data from Odoo to Office Reason, Odoo to MailChimp after that you need to uh, click on MailChimp campaigns uh, what we'll do is we'll try to uh, get uh, click on custom data streams filter what it will do is it will fetch customized uh, customized data meaning only on the specific date on which the campaigns were you know created uh, the date range with it the the date range filter is for that. Uh, now if we click on execute all records, what it will do is it will fetch all of the campaigns instead of just, you know, you can see in the first attempt only one campaign was imported because it fell in that date range and in the second it, fe it fetched all of the campaigns in Odoo. Now let's go to MailChimp lists. Uh, you can see here's the list and you can see all of the contacts. Uh, now, in order, on, and now in, in order to you know uh, see all of the contacts, what we can do is we can you know go to apps and install the contacts module so that the contacts that were imported you can see them in your contacts module over here. So these are all of the contacts that were imported from Mailchimp. Now, if you click on Mailchimp details in a in a specific contact, we can see which campaign this uh, you know contact was actually assigned to we also have a campaign view from where we can see all of the campaigns uh, against this customer contact or you know all in you know with, whether this contact was in multiple contains or how, how many lists that does this campaign you know exist in now i'll try to export the uh, new contact uh, and I'll, first i'll add that to a list and try to export it to MailChimp. So you can uh, 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 you can click on this button, uh, sync with MailChimp, or you can also go to, go to you know the other option that was uh, the previous page from where you can export. So th we have both options over here. So you can use either one of them. So now if I refresh, you'll see that initially there were 14 contacts. Now there were there are 15 contacts. Now like if I click on uh, you know. Uh, 15 contacts you will be see you will be seeing that the recently created contact at expo at gmail.com so this is how you know uh, export can work now we'll go back to our mailchimp uh, now what we'll do is we'll try to import uh, you know uh, list using the auto scheduler in this part you can you know set up the automation and it will automatically you know execute based on the you know settings that you have provided and then you can you just need to click on start it will automatically run after each interval now you can see that uh, one contact was one list was updated because that contact was a new contact over there now when we clicked on import only that specific contact got updated